Hello and welcome to another edition of Autoka India Quick News, your weekly wrap of all things new in the automotive industry. Before we begin, do please remember to subscribe to the Autoka India channel if you yet to do so and do make sure to leave the notifications on. Now let's dive into this week's news. The Jeep Meridian has received a facelift and it is now more affordable at 24.99 lakh rupees ex showroom. Before we get into the details, let's have a quick look at the prices. With a facelift, Jeep has introduced a new entry-level longitude trim, which is only offered as a 5-seater. The plus side of this variant would be the massive 670 liters of claimed boot space. The remaining three variants will only be offered as a 7-seater, and 4x4 option is limited to the overland trim. Apart from that, the facelift has only brought subtle changes elsewhere. The updated SUV gets a chrome-studded honeycomb mesh on the grille, and the design of the 18-inch alloys are similar to the one seen in the overland trim of the previous model. There's more to be said about the interior. The seats now come with a new beige upholstery and the dashboard gets a new suede finish with copper stitching. Perhaps the most noteworthy update with the 2025 Meridian would be the addition of Level 2 weight as suite. However, it's only offered with the top of the line overland trim. Other features such as the 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster and the 10.1 inch touchscreen infotainment as well as the 9 speaker Alpine audio system, wireless charger, ventilated front seats and other creature comforts are all carried over. The powertrain also remains unchanged, retaining the 170 horsepower, 350 Nm, 2 liter diesel engine that's paired to either a 6 speed manual or a 9 speed automatic gearbox. Mercedes Benz has launched the new AMG G63 in India for 3.6 crore rupees. The update focuses on improving the G Wagon's aerodynamics as well as practicality. As far as external changes go, the new G63 gets a mildly altered front bumper with vertical slats, and the radiator grille is now finished in dark chrome. To aid aerodynamics, Merck has rounded off the A-pillars and added a new lip to the windscreen. At the rear, the G-Wagon can also be optioned with a carbon fiber finish spare wheel cover. Furthermore, the updated model also features keyless entry for the first time in a G-Class. For the interior, the G63 has been updated with the dual 12.3-inch screens from the new GLS range. The off-road control center in the middle of the dashboard has also been revamped to give easy access to key functions. It also comes with temperature-controlled cup holders and wireless phone charger. To make your G-Wagon stand apart, the manufacturer is also offering up to 31 unique upholstery options as well as 29 exterior paint options straight from the factory. There are updates to what's beneath the bonnet as well. The M177 V8 engine that produces 585 horsepower and 850 Nm is now paired to a 48 volt mild hybrid system giving the SUV an additional 22 horsepower boost. According to the brand, the updated AMG G63 does 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.3 seconds and with the additional AMG Active Ride Control, the top speed has been pushed to 240 km per hour. For the approaching festive season, Toyota has launched a festival limited edition Rumion. The special edition model adds additional accessories to the MPV at no additional cost. The Rumion is currently priced between 10.44 lakhs and 13.73 lakh rupees ex showroom. With a limited edition MPV, Toyota offers accessories such as mud flaps, bumper garnish, a roof mounted spoiler, Dulux carpet mats, and more. At the dealer level, these accessories would amount to over 20,000 rupees. Elsewhere, the MPV remains the same. There are no changes to the features list, nor the powertrain. The limited edition Rumion is powered by a 1.5-liter four-cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine that produces 103 horsepower and 137 Nm of torque. Gearbox options include a 5-speed manual and a 6-speed torque converter automatic. The engine can also be had in CNG spec, where it produces 88 horsepower and 122 Nm of torque. Moving over to the world of two-wheelers. Bajaj has launched the Pulsar N125 for Rs. For an additional Rs. the N125 can also be had with Bluetooth connectivity. In tune with its rivals, the new N125 also gets a sharp and striking design language and a new LED headlight flanked by color-coded plastic pieces. The base variant can be had in four colors, white, black, red, and blue, while the Bluetooth variant comes in three dual-tone paint options. The N125 also comes with a split-seat configuration. Suspension duty is taken care of by a telescopic fork and a motor shock. The N125 is equipped with a 240mm disc at the front and a 130mm drum at the rear. When it comes to features, the Bluetooth variant also gets a larger dash, a silent starter, as well as fatter rear tires. The new N125 is powered by an all-new air-cooled 124.58cc single-cylinder motor that's rated for 12 horsepower at 8,500rpm and 11 Nm of torque at 6,000 rpm. You can watch Richard's first ride video for a more detailed breakdown of the new Pulsar N125. Swiftly moving over to the Pulsar's rival, TVS has launched a Raider iGo variant for 98,389 rupees ex showroom. 
The new variant features an additional boost feature like the new Jupiter 110, giving the radar an additional 0.55 Nm of torque. Having already been equipped with an integrated starter generator, TBS has managed to leverage the additional torque, giving the bike a bit more zip. Just like in the Jupiter, the boost system can be used twice in a minute. To differentiate the radar iGo from the standard model, TBS has given the new variant a unique Nardo grey color matched with red wheels. The radar iGo gets no mechanical changes as such. The 124.8cc motor makes 11.4 horsepower and 11.2 Nm of torque. And with that, we wrap up this week's quick news. Thank you all for joining and see you all next week.